Captain Calvin Mercer, personal log. Our mission, to negotiate with the Gim Tao, has failed. And we find ourselves caught in the middle of a civil war. Unable to contact the Enterprise and fearing we will lose even more crew on this mission, I have sent back to Galileo with Ensign Albright and Dr. Cage. This harsh planet has turned up some rather unusual characters, including what appears to be a Vulcan. Far from home, represent the United Federation of Planets. We come in peace. May we speak to your leaders. May you and I talk. So much for diplomacy. Hey, Jones. You know, I think I was actually getting through to him. Want me to wake him up for you so you can continue? No. There you go, Dr. Kroner. Perfect specimen of the Gondea species. I believe you left this behind, Captain. Thanks. Nara, I think their ship landed in that clearing over there. Perhaps there's a way we could... security protocol to avoid capture. Gongdea seemed to be more advanced than the Gimtao believed. That alters the gambit. Nara, see what you can get from this guy when he wakes up. Ooh. I guess that dance number took a little bit more out of me than I thought. Captain, you may have a mild concussion. You should go get that checked out by Dr. Bernice. Jones, stay here. Keep an eye on things. Sure, just like I did for your old man. Yeah.
I'm hoping the Gong Dei are more open to negotiations than the Gim Tao. We might be able to convince them to trade with the Federation, if we can only get through to them. I have calibrated the Universal Translator to accommodate for the variations of the cerebral patterns that differ from the Gim Tao. It's not much, but it should work. Okay. Let's go negotiate. Understand me? It can. Good. Let's try this again. We are on a peaceful mission. Weak and puny race. So small and ugly. Do I frighten you? We have made our peace. The slave lords are no more. We came only here to negotiate. The many worlds I represent would like to exchange goods and services for a portion of the canite that you mine here. No canite for you. Soon, only the Gong Day will enjoy the canite. Tonight we hunt, dine on your flesh, and wash it down with Krila. Fleshy vessels for our young. There. Calm down. Doc! Check on his lip for me, please. Captain! Go Dr. Bernice! He's dead. Let's see if we can get some answers from our Vulcan friend. According to these scans, she suffered multiple wounds and fractures. Some old, some new. I'm glad you're awake. Thank you for saving my skin back there. Tell me, what's a Vulcan like you doing on a planet like this? Why'd you run? My name's Captain Calvin Mercer. This, my chief security officer, second in command, Commander Evos. This, Dr. Kinnair. What's your name? I am called Tavas. Calm down. No one here's gonna hurt you. So tell us. Why did you ah! Ah! Uh, lose something, Captain? Captain, look. That's a Romulan prison mark. Quinair, wake her up. I need answers. Let's spare each other the lies. Why are you spying on us? Now are there are more Romulans in the area. I am alone, if that is your concern. Why are you in a Romulan prison camp? Why hide from us? And be made a Federation prisoner? Would you have presented yourself differently if this were a Romulan crew? I have survived the dilithium mines of Remus. I am more than capable of surviving here. Remus? Isn't that usually reserved for political prisoners? Am I your prisoner then? No. You're free to go. Hey, Denara, it's okay. We got better things to do than start a war with the Brahma. You know, we can help each other. Captain, I've been looking over Dr. Bernice's tricorder scans. Hmm. Looks like her friend isn't all who she seems. She's only half Romulan. She's half human? Captain, look over there. Captain, I'm feeding it through for translation. Surrender, and your death will be quick and without suffering. You have one cycle to give us the Kaelite. The slave lords are no more. This is our world now, and everything in it. Judge, 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 judge,
misjudged you. I misjudged you, Ben. I told you you could count on me, sir. Your record speaks for itself. We all make sacrifices. Like the landing party Mercer Sr. commanded, Tyrell, on Vega 516. It wasn't my fault. The old man never should have sent them down there. I never meant for them to die. Just like you didn't mean for Dubois to die? He would have stopped me. He was going to tell the captain, jeopardize the mission. And now another Mercer is captain. Just think, that could have been your command. But wait, you're not even his number one. You chose that blue cockroach over me. Maybe he wants to keep the command in the family. His father, her father. Wait, he says you're his dad's best friend. <laughs> Did you ever wonder what the landing party on Vega 516 felt? As their flesh melted and burned? Can you imagine their screams as the sun rose over the planet? Leave me alone! I'm not a murderer! It was the old man's fault. He made me work three straight shifts. I never meant to fall asleep at the transporter. I was trained to command a ship. I'm as good as... No, I am better than the old man or that brat of his. Who's bringing you home? The Quantolithium. That's why you're the best man for this job. It's a pity that Mercer is the captain. He does complicate things. Mission completed, Admiral. But I'm sorry to report the loss of Captain Mercer and some of the crew. <laughs> Well, Doc, good news, we've got minimal external damage, but bad news, we've got a blown circuit board. I'm gonna try to rendezvous with the others on foot. You'll be fine here in the shuttle. I don't intend on losing any more crew members on this mission. Captain, I'll join you. No! Captain, let us help you. No. I need you and the doc to go back to what's left of the Gimtao Temple. Find any survivors that might be able to help us out. I'll meet up with you after I find Banks, Jones, and Dubois. And if you run into any problems? Just concentrate on contacting the Enterprise. energy signatures in every direction, but no signs of the Gimtau. These remains are what's left. Whatever happened, happened quickly, and I'm picking up increased Gonde activity. We need to find the captain. Are you okay? It's not safe to remain in this area. There are Gonde everywhere. Our shuttle took a hit back there, forcing us to land. We have a failed circuit board. Question. If you were indeed facing your own troubles, why did you take the time to help me back there? <laughs> For a race without a sense of humor. Oh, you're serious? Well, I figured it was the human thing to do. 
seeing as how if I were in that same position, I'd hope someone would help me. If we were to replace the circuit board, your ship could be made operational? In two shakes of a lamb's tail. I am not familiar with this Elam's tail, or why you should want to shake it. It's an expression. It means it'll be done very quickly, fast. I believe I could salvage parts from my vessel to repair the damage done to yours. If we did that, would you provide me safe passage? My captain will take you anywhere, I think. But even if we do get the ship running, how do we get off this rock being undetected? I believe I have a solution to that as well. Follow me. My ship is three shakes of Elam's tail this way. Thank you, Banks. Couldn't have done it without your help. I said I was going to kill you. Captain, those aliens are crawling over the place. Jones? I told you to leave the quantum lithium behind. That was a direct order. And get back to the rendezvous site. You don't look so well. Let me get you back to the rendezvous site. Where's Banks? Yeah. Listen, hey, listen to me. We need to get you back to the Enterprise. Trust me. Tr trust you? A Mercer? Never again. Ben, when I saw you in the Admiral's office, I was pleased. Look, I know what happened between you and my father was devastating. But I also know that he holds himself to blame. He is to blame! He made me pull. A third shift. 30 crew members screaming to beam up as the surface of the planet soared to over 300 degrees centigrade. It didn't have to happen. This quantum lithium is my redemption. I'm not going to fail this mission. Ben, right now, the Gong Day is swarming this planet. We need to get out of here. Why don't you just help me with this? Let's see it now. You're one of them! Captain? Cal! Uh, I'm sorry. Jones Enterprise, come in, Enterprise. Enterprise, you are here, sir. This is Jones. I need emergency beam out. On my mark. What about shuttle and survivors? Captain and crew are dead. Been killed in an attack. I need emergency beam out. Negative. Must confirm captain or first officer. 
under Starfleet Order 104, Section B, Paragraph 1A. As senior officer, I am assuming command of the Enterprise. Confirmed, sir. Stand by for emergency beam out. Mission accomplished, Admiral. Captain Jones. No, Admiral Jones. Captain Mercer. Captain Mercer. Captain Mercer. You're finally awake. I was worried. Where's Jones, Banks, and Dubois? Dead. Jones went rogue. Looks like he took some of the quantum lithium with also. Our deadline is quickly running out. The gone day seem to be everywhere. We need to move. Damn it. <sighs> Jones is probably already in contact with the Enterprise. I don't like the feeling of this. Let's get out of here. We set up a homing beacon in hopes of signaling a rescue party. The Enterprise should certainly have dispatched. What? What? Dr. Kinnear, let me spell it out for you. Jones has gone insane. And if my suspicions are correct, there'll be no rescue party. We can't stay here much longer. Captain? What's that? This, hopefully, will be of value to us. Let's go. Now, Captain. Well, doesn't look like they're in the mood to negotiate. Captain, if I may. She's actually quite good, Captain. Well, I'm Miranda. I'm impressed. Call me Dr. Crenier. No time for pleasantries. Well, that should buy us some time for now. Too late. Look at the skies at 45 degree angles. It sounds like it's above us. But where is it? shut down just over the east rim. Dr. Cage is injured, but he'll be all right. He's still trying to mend a broken wrist. You know, physician heal thyself. If I hadn't come across to Voss, I don't know what I would have done. Her previous clothing was severely scorched. This is the best I could find. She's amazing with tools. She's even added a few improvements from her vessel in exchange for coming with us. Right, huh? Call yourself an engineer? I would call myself to Voss. Nice boots. Cloaking device. This might help us slip past the gong day, get us off this rock. Piers, we owe you another one. Thank you. Sir. We're in your debt to Voss. I was having trouble reaching the Enterprise. Communications may not be functioning too well because of the crash. But we've got a shuttle now. We just need to kick it into warp drive and reach the Enterprise. Sir, she won't be pushing warp. She's barely holding together. Understood. In exchange for your passage, I'm gonna need your troubleshooting skills. See what you can do with those. Let me know if you can adapt those to the shuttlecraft's dilithium chambers at your own time. Federation Science has discovered it can effectively increase the speed and efficiency of warp technology. I believe the captain hopes it will increase our chances. I cannot say without further analysis Captain, is it really wise to give a Romulan the newest Federation technology? Romulan just shared a cloak and technology with us. Do we have a choice?
Marines rarely survive direct hits. She'll never make it without proper equipment and medical supplies. I've stabilized her, but she needs proper medical attention aboard the Enterprise. Captain, I just found these aboard the shuttle. Uh, a little surprise Admiral forgot to tell us about. I'm serious, Captain. We need to act now. I need a specific enzyme to properly stabilize Andorian physiology. I can't work miracles with one hand. You gotta do something. She's dying. Captain, I may have a solution for your injured female. We can store her in a transport pattern buffer until a medical facility can be reached. What problem? We don't have a transport. <laughs> Apparently, Captain, we do now. Tavas, how long will it take for you to set that up? With Albright's help, in two shakes of Elon's tail. Wait. I'm not an engineer, but doesn't a stored pattern degrade after seven minutes? Oh. You're not seriously suggesting. I believe that reconnecting the phase inducers and bypassing the override would lock the buffer into a continuous diagnostic cycle. This should hold an individual in stasis indefinitely, with less than 0.003% pattern degradation over time. Only 0.003%? God, you're talking about a living being. Who knows what happens when you lose 300,000 percent of your body or your soul? You have a better idea, Doc? Personal log, supplemental. Having deterred the gong day at ground attack, the crew has rigged up a makeshift transporter. And I'm now left with the unsettling choice of placing life of my dearest friend in the hands of a Romulan. Anara, you once told me that command is a selfish mistress, filled with many difficult decisions. And then every one of them has a negative consequence. I can only pray that we survive the consequences of this one. Energize. Have her pattern safely stored. Pack it up, move. Captain, the gong day are back. Kunair, stay here, help them all pack this up. Albright, you and I are gonna help draw the fire that way. Let's go. Move out. Captain, wait! What about the phasers? Let's see what we have. That ship's prepped and ready. Go. All right. Engage. I've got a better idea. My god, we're gonna die. The shuttle power levels are maxed. I've had to reroute the primary systems. For now, we need speed. Just keep it on that little indicator right there. A green light means the cloaking system is powered.
little too close. Shields at thirty percent. All right, do something. We're definitely going to die. Captain, the Enterprise is gone. I'm still detecting her warp signature. Can you at least give me warp one? Relax, Skipper. Space, dark, cold, endless, the final frontier. These are the voyages of a lost Federation crew stranded beyond the edge of space. Who knows what new life and new civilizations we will encounter as we boldly make our way back home. <laughs>